In this video, we're going to look how to uh, program the Pentair Superflow Variable Speed Pump. Now, it's not exactly intuitive if you've never done something like this before. They have kind of like a unique control, and we'll talk about that now. It's kind of based on, uh, so pump or setting one is going to be the, everything else is going to be, be based off what you do with setting one. Now, the idea here behind setting different speeds, which is what we're going to do, we have three options that we're going to be able to incorporate into a 24 hour filtration cycle. And typically what people want to do with something like this is you want to run the pump for a period of time at higher speeds and that allows to filter a lot of water, but it also allows to have a lot of flow volume for things like uh, gas heaters uh, or a saltwater chlorinator that need an appreciable amount of flow in order to operate properly. Uh, and so you typically speaking would have periods of time every day where your pump needs to run at higher speeds. That being said, variable electrical rates are something that are common pretty much everywhere now. And what the idea is here is that there's off peak rates. And for maximum savings, you want to be able to program your pump such that it runs at, at the high speeds or the high speed time of your 24 hour filtration cycle falls during an off peak electrical uh, time such as you, you can experience the maximum savings from that and that's what I'm going to program this pump to do right now so in my area what uh, I experience is that I, I can run my pump in the middle of the night and I can run it at full speed and the sound from that doesn't bother my neighbors it doesn't bother us so I can go ahead and do that maybe your application is different but for me I like to run my pump at full speed in the middle of the night because that's when it's cheapest for me to do it it's actually substantially cheaper uh, maybe a third of the price to run this pump in the middle of the night versus the peak time of day. So what you do is hit number one, and that's going to bring up the current RPM value. I have it at 3000 RPM because that's a pretty high value and that's what I want. Now you press number one again, and it's going to bring you to the, uh, the screen where you select the time. Now I want to go ahead and have my pump kick on at high speed at two o'clock in the morning because that's right in the middle of where my electrical savings are the best so once i've got it dialed in for 2 a.m i hit one again and that's it that's programmed that in there it's going to run at that time so how long do i want it to run for well two hours three hours it kind of depends on what you're looking for let's say i don't have a lot of flow demands and i only need it to run for two hours at that speed so then we hit one again and that's it it's at 3000 rpm at two o'clock in the morning it's going to come on it's going to run for two hours next is going to be this speed so i've got this speed here programmed in at 1200 rpm that's a very very low rpm it costs me very little to run this pump at this rpm and that's why i have it uh, dialed in like that you don't want to just put it down all the way to the minimum because there is resistance to flow that you need to overcome but on a lot of swimming pool systems, most swimming pool systems, 1200 RPM is gonna be enough to get you some flow such that you can run it like this for a long period of time. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm gonna leave it at 1200 RPM, but I'm gonna have it that way for a long time. No, so again, I said that this is all based on what we set number one to be. One is the start time and it ran for two hours in the middle of the night. Next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna have this run at 1200 RPM for 18 hours because that's the bulk of the day so i just go ahead and hit two again and that locks that in at 1200 rpm but let's say i have a saltwater chlorinator two hours in the middle of the night's pretty good for you know my in-floor cleaner or something like that but my saltwater chlorinator needs a good couple hours at let's say 2000 rpm that's a pretty high number but it's still substantially less than 3000 i'm going to have quite a bit of cost savings for knocking that down so i'm going to run it at 2000 rpm and we'll go ahead and lock that in. And so what I have here is the remainder of the 24 hour schedule. Like, look, if I try to dial it up and keep going, it only goes to four hours because that's all that's left in that 24 hour schedule that we're setting across here. So I'll go ahead, bring it up to four hours and lock it in at that. There we go. 2000 RPM and hit the start and stop button. And that's it. Now you've uh, initiated a priming cycle and you've locked in that new 24 hour schedule for programming that you've created. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.